What's happening, Crypto Fam? Happy Thursday morning. <laughs> Happy Thursday morning. Hope you're having a great week. Um, welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. Whether you're watching on IGTV, Facebook, or YouTube, it is a pleasure to have you here. If you are a new watcher, you find this video, uh, you enjoy it, you find it informative, you feel you want to share it with your mates, please do share it. Please click follow or subscribe. Um, hit the bell if you're on YouTube, you'll get the notification as and when the video is uploaded in the morning. So let's let's crack on. Ripple Tech being adopted, the journey of adoption. So this is X current, but it's the path in the right direction. Is they're not just gonna flip to full on to, to put the legacy system full on blockchain straight away. They're just not gonna do that. It's gonna be in steps. The first step is going to bilateral messaging, multi hot messaging through X current speeds up the current system. Yeah, X current current system getting sped up. Thai CM Commercial Bank SCB completes cross border transfer using Ripple technology in just one minute. SCB drastically cuts cross border payment time from two days to only one minute. Ripple had acknowledged its involvement with SCB for its multi hop feature. Excuse me. So the oldest bank in Thailand is reported to have integrated Ripple's technology for its cross-border fund transfer. The bank revealed that it was able to bring down its cross-border time, uh, cross-border transfer time from two days to only one minute, according to an official announcement by the bank. In a bid to operize, uh, optimize operational efficiency, SCB and the PTTEP have collaborated since mid-2018 on a research and development effort to adopt blockchain technology for cross-border business-to-business payment. Earlier this year, the project was able to make pilot payments on blockchain with payments reaching destinations within one minute compared to one to two days with conventional methods. While Ripple was not mentioned in the latest announcement, the bank had released an earlier announcement saying that it was working with Ripple's technology to ensure faster cross-border uh, transfers. Moreover, in a blog post, Ripple had acknowledged its involvement with SCB and even praised it, saying it was going to be the first of its many financial partners who will be using the multi-hop feature. Siam Commercial Bank SCB will be the first financial institution on RippleNet to pioneer a key feature called multi-hop, which allows them to settle frictionless payments on behalf of other financial institutions on the network. This eliminates the need for a direct one-to-one -one connection or bilateral relationship between financial institutions to settle a payment using multi-hop SCB will be able to receive and forward on a payment without a bilateral relationship between the originator and beneficiary institutions. That is the network of networks being grown, basically, in it. Now, I said it's X current. Sounds like X current to me, but. <sighs> Journey to adoption, path to adoption. Like, that is a major, major step. The first, the first bank, the, 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 the first financial institution on RippleNet to pioneer multi hot. So to use a multi-op feature, multi-op's an interledger feature, isn't it? So it's, it's in all the interledger documents, it's in all the ripple documents of how they're going to do it. So, you can sh that's actually on FX Street. Not a bad one today. So again, I just Googled ripple news and went down the list. So I see something about a bank or something, and this is what came up. So if we go just back the little page, because that's um, that was all all there was in that article. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put Siam Bank using Ripple Tech, just to see if any other news outlets have picked up with the story. FX Street reduces cross-border uh, three hours ago. 
um, the 28th, the 18 hours ago, factory finds a new face. No, so 16 hours ago. So someone else has wrote as well. So a minute ago, there was one guy. I can't remember his name. And we've got another guy who's wrote a separate article about the same thing. So I'll try and skim through this. Um, SCB reduces cross-border transaction times from two days to one minute using Ripple to SCB's working relationship with Ripple has been well documented. SCB is the first financial institution on RippleNet to pioneer the primary feature called multi octals cover. So in a bid to optimise the PCTB, even though Ripple is not explicitly mentioned in its secret notes, yeah, yeah, bam, will be the first financial institution. It's basically the same fucking article. Are these, are these fuckers being paid for the raw writing the same shit? At least it's good news today, eh? No, no, not seeing nothing off Tanya yet. <laughs> not seeing fuck all off Tanya yet. <coughs> Excuse me. That is quite a short story, to be honest. It's a short, small story, but it's massive fucking news. The, the, the first institution to use multi op they're now telling everyone that it's brought the transaction time down ridiculously from days to mi less than a minute. Other financial institutions are going to have to have to start using that. So the more of this comes out, the better it is for us because we've got an event coming on now. And September the 7th is the nailed on date for the, for the event. It's a Saturday the 7th. It's at Manchester Conference Centre. We've confirmed the date. We just need to put a deposit down. We're sorting the tickets out today. Our website goes online in the next few days. There will be a page on there about it. So basically, yeah, just stay tuned. It is going to be a come, come and meet the love for uh, the love for crypto team. Come meet me. Come meet Kurt. Chris should be there. Um, I'll be doing a presentation. Think Kurt might be. There's a few other people that want to speak about the new the small business ideas and implementing blockchain into their their new business model. How they can implement blockchain ILP coil payments and stuff like that into old business models and push forward with an advantage into the future. We will hopefully have um, Wireless Racer there showing a little bit of how, how his Wireless Racers works on blockchain. Hoping to get a coder there to talk a little bit about Node Red and how other people and normal people can look into Node Red and start coding on your own. Make your own little mini servers, hosts. Um, you can get what's called a Raspberry Pi, which is legitimately just that big. It's one of the smallest PCs you can get your hands on. So using that as basically a server and a Samsung Smart Hubs, you know the Smart Hubs that you buy to run your house, you can make that one itself. It can become a little Cody thing for you to play for you to play um, content on your TV, anything. The, the, the possibilities with that are quite amazing. The possibilities with DLT are quite amazing. So we are doing DLT Con. That is the event. DLT Conference UK. Uh, short DLT Con UK. Like I said, there's going to be some business pitches. Hopefully get some angel investors there. Um Tickets on sale very, very soon. Um, I was going to try and get sponsoring and have it as a free event. With it being the first event I've ever done, I don't, I'm don't. I'm not going to fucking lie to people. I'm Sponsoring's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck do I ask for sponsoring? I've asked a few people and they seem quite interested. So even if I just get the deposit paid with sponsor and then the tickets pay for the room. Any excess beyond... What we need for the room will just go towards making the event better, paying a possible singer to close the event and stuff like that. We may have a couple of performers on. We may even pay pay a few people to get there. We'll have to pay some people to monitor tickets and video the event. So, yeah, stay tuned. Tickets will be on sale through Eventbrite. It will be a great event, even if you just come down and meet us. I'll probably be stood there chatting bubbles for about two hours. To, to start with and then there'll be people speaking after me so yeah get yourselves down there get on the ticket link i will drop it very very soon on instagram facebook and twitter so stay tuned if you've been paid or you've got some spare money you know what to do don't delay go get some xrp today diversify if you feel you have to xlm to it Yrex very very soon if not today you'll have to have a look but yeah live long and huddle live long and huddle you know the script we are in the long game 
Love Crypto, love you, love XRP. Peace.